So, Ken, this is an interesting and distressing part of our world today. We did at Ramsey a couple of years ago the largest, by far, airtight research, the largest study of millionaires in North America, in the United States of America, ever done. All the details. Where do they come from? What do they think about? Did they inherit their money? What are their careers? What's their marital status? What's their race, creed, color, whatever? Everything we could figure out and trying to find and trying to figure out, okay, what does it take to become a millionaire in America today? A millionaire is a million dollar net worth. For those of you that don't know, it's not a billionaire. A billion is a thousand million. It's a lot more. Mm. If you have $3,000, you're closer to being a millionaire than a millionaire is to being a billionaire. That's an example. So it's not, it's not private jets and seven cars. Okay? That's not a millionaire. A million dollar net worth is not that much. It, it, but it is more than most people have. There's about uh, 17 million millionaires in America. And that's what you own minus what you owe equals your net worth. Your assets minus your liabilities is your net worth. So if you have no debt and you have a million dollars in your 401k, you're a millionaire. Okay? That's simple. That kind of a thing. All right. So we post on Instagram yesterday, and this is what is societally distressing, that from this study, not a feeling that we have, we didn't ask your broke brother-in-law his opinion. We ask real millionaires, 10 freaking thousand of them, who they are, where they come from. And one of the many conclusions we drew from this was the top 10 career fields yeah. that we found according to frequency within the study. So who, what career field did we find most often? Second most often, and so on. The most often we found was engineer. The second was an accountant or CPA. The third was teacher. The fourth was management. The fifth was attorney. So not even making the top five is medical doctor. By the way, there were six. Number six. But they were they're not even in the top five. And we post that on there. And Instagram and Facebook proves once again that humanity is full of morons. I mean, if you read comments after articles or comments after posts like this, you understand why some species eat their young. People are dumber than a rock out there. Oh, yeah, a lot of mouth breathers. Some of you listening are dumber than a rock. Yeah. I mean, I never heard... I, this is ridiculous. So here's the thing, okay? We've done detailed scientific research that proved that the sun is hot, and we post it... Yeah. On Instagram, the sun is hot. Yeah. Some of you morons will disagree with that. Yeah. Just because you think you have a right to. And you should really stop before you post something because it makes you look stupid. Okay. Was that unclear? Well, I felt, probably like you, I, I, I felt like you could have had a little bit more enthusiasm for what you were saying. I, I felt, <laughs> like it, felt like it lost a little fervor. No, I think you're absolutely right. This is data. And you know what's funny is like people, they want to argue like we're duping people. Yeah. Like, well, we're just saying yeah, this to right, be Yeah, right, Dave Ramsey. Teachers aren't really making that kind of money. Not where <laughs> I live. I'm a teacher. Teachers can't be millionaires. Right. No way teachers can be millionaires. No teacher should be on there. Where are the nurses? Where right. are the nurses? Right. Well, you nurses get your button gear, and I guess you'll make the dadgum list. Oh, my gosh. Well, what they're missing, what these brilliant mouth breathers have forgotten in this post is that it has nothing to do with the salary. It has everything to do with the way they live. Now, engineers certainly can make way more money than a teacher, but it is they have lived on less than they make. They have saved. They have invested. They've walked a clear path. The baby steps, their baby steps, millionaires. And that's what they're missing here. They think, oh, well, I know what a teacher salary is. You guys are just making this stuff up. Now, As if you're the, into clickbait. Let me tell you what all five do share in common. All five professions are systems people. That's right. They all work systems. Yep. Teachers work a, a teaching plan. They have a lesson plan. Yep. They work a system. And they, 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 if they, somebody gives them a lesson plan, they don't go make up their own. Yep. They, they follow the lesson plan. And engineers, they don't, they don't make up their own thing. The bridge would fall. That's correct. They have to follow the system. They have to follow the processes. Attorneys have to follow a process called the law. 
You know, you don't get to make it up. You have to actually adhere to a process. All of these people adhere to processes for a living, and they take that same part of their personality and they apply it to their money, and voila, they become a millionaire. So what is the data on teacher income? Well, right now, the median income in the United States is $60,000. So now, before some of you folks start firing shots at me on that, I said median you know what a median Does is? Does anybody know what the median is? If you had been in a good is? teacher's class, you would have known. It's your law of averages. You just run your averages. So there's no certainly... average is different than median. Yeah, I know. But I'm just <laughs> saying, if you if you look at the, across the board of what the median salary is for a teacher, it's 60. Now that means in some districts in the United States, like for instance, I got a friend who's teaching high school in New York, uh, upstate New York. He's making over six figures. So this is across the board. You look at the median, and now we go, okay. Uh, this is what we're looking at in the United States. But again, it is about how they live on less than they make. It's not. This study wasn't pointing to how much they make. It was how much they keep. And by the way, there is one other correlation between all of these millionaires. They love their work. Yeah. High let's correlation. Not, let's let's not 80 percentile that. range. 80 percentile. They love so let me, let me help you with doing. this. If you invest from age 30 to age 65 in a decent growth stock mutual fund, 15% of $60,000, you'll have $4.8 million. Yeah, there it is. Now, you can also fire off a bunch of comments about that. But that was math. You don't really get to negotiate with math. Yeah. That's how math works. It just is or it isn't. That's right. You don't get to make up your own yeah, version. that's not an opinion. And so if, that's, so if, one, if you only are one-fifth as good as we teach. Right. I mean, five million bucks. Right. 4.8 million. Right. Okay. You would still have one million dollars, right? And, and from age 30 to age 65. So, jeez. But Dave, that's all too clear cut and simple for the keyboard warriors. There's got to be more complexity. They got to tear it apart. It's got to be a game, uh, and that's unfortunate. That's the sad part. The sad part is, is that we have a portion of our culture now who, rather than fix their life and address the person in the mirror's deficits, instead wants a narrative that declares them a victim. There it is. That can't possibly be true, Dave, because if that's true, I could do it. If, and I don't if, think I if could your do study it. was accurate, well, what do you know about my study? You just, you just, if your mouth was shut, you wouldn't be making noise. Oh, my God. But, Jeez. Dave, they're mouth breathers, so the mouth can't be shut. Seriously, people, you really should abstain from the comments <laughs> section, reading them or commenting on them. Oh, my gosh. There's a reason that you and I both get so visibly frustrated with people that have a victim narrative mm -hmm. and insist on spreading their victim narrative. We know from having worked with thousands and even millions of people that most anyone that follows a proven process can go get a great job, can get out of debt and build wealth, can have a good marriage. We know that people that are that choose to control their behavior in spite of the negative influences from the outside, in spite of bad things having happened to them, and we all have challenges, but in spite of the challenges, we know that people can create for themselves, carve out for themselves a good life if they bother. When someone posts a negative narrative that says, oh, teachers can't do it, then someone believes that, or you're in an echo chamber with a bunch of people that says teachers can't do it, then, God help us, teachers believe they can't do it. Yeah. And we know that that's not true, and you've then limited someone's belief and someone's future, and you've brought harm to them. And we love people, and we love people that so much we want them to win, and yeah. anything that keeps them from winning, including you Debbie Downers out there, mm -hmm. We're, you're going to be at the tip of our sharp tongue. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And let me just say this. As much as we, we will take shots at people that, that uh, are constantly negative and cynical, I, I do Even feel Even you great, could do it if I, you'd quit doing that. I feel sadness over that because, because you've bought, in some form or fashion, a false narrative. You have had some bad stuff happen to you. Maybe somebody did something. Maybe you made a mistake and you did something dumb. That doesn't disqualify you from being a victor. I've never read a biography in my life, and I've read a lot of them. Uh, where the the story, the person in the story that we're reading about always did everything right, had no hardship, had no self-inflicted wounds, had no disadvantages. So uh, I absolutely agree with you. We get fired up on this because we're in the business of hope. We're in the business of giving people hope that they can be who they're supposed to be, they can do what they want to do. Um, and yeah, it, it, it really makes me angry when people just go, nah, that's all a pipe dream. And uh, yeah, it irritates us. And, and we live in a world today where people really 
really are influenced shockingly by, by the a negative. comment in by a the comment negative. section. By the negative. Yeah, and yeah, the that's negative, why negative, it fires negative, us negative, up. The negative, the negative, Good the grief, here's my deal. If you really believe that, then why do you feel like you got to share that with everybody else? I mean, you, you have the right to believe and say, and I will always fight for liberty, to say and be negative and a Eeyore, if that's what you want to be, great. But don't bring it around the rest of us. Yeah, old country saying, if you ain't got something nice to say, won't you say nothing at all? I mean, life is too short. A pastor to be, friend of mine used to say, if ugh. it's not helpful, hopeful, or promotes healing, <laughs> you don't need to say it. That's good. Yeah. If it's not helpful, hopeful, or promotes healing, yeah. you don't need to say it. Yeah. And um, I, I can I could take to that advice occasionally too. I just called a whole bunch of people stupid. So, but I think that might have been healing though. I think it was. It was. It was a little therapeutic for both of yeah, us. Yeah, me and you were healed right. by it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I will say this. I think it's fair to say that someone is stupid or unintelligent when they argue data. Yeah. But by the way, those are the same people that go science over here, but we're going to argue something we don't like. And he, you've heard this Until before. Until you don't like it. Yeah. That's right. We hear what we want to hear. We yeah. see what we want to see. Echo Chamber City, man. Yeah. It's just people, man. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man.